All right. So for the three coral reefs that I visited, um, I looked into the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Uh, it's from what I saw, I really only saw like, like I saw pictures online, but as far as like using Google Earth, uh, like Street View, um, I was able to see like a bunch of like specific corals that I don't know how to name. Uh, I think they're brain corals. I'm not like a hundred percent. Like they, they all have like their certain distinct look. And it was a pretty clear picture. Uh, they were colorful, but I don't know the names of all of them. Um, I did not see any schools of fish or anything. I know there's clownfish in this reef and turtles and dolphins and whales, but I didn't see anything. Uh, I also looked at the Tubataha reefs over in the Philippines. Um, they got sharks and turtles and all kinds of uh like stingrays and they got, they got large marine species. Uh, I didn't see any of them. I don't know if it shows like, I don't know how good these pictures are or how good the satellite is. It does show very clear images of the reef itself, which this reef has like coral gardens, which, uh, I don't know the names of the species, but they, they looked a little different, very colorful still. I also looked at the Palen Palencar Reef in Mexico. Um, I didn't see any fish. I think I saw like a turtle shell, but I know there are sea turtles. I just didn't, it's hard to find like actual like species on the camera. I don't know. I don't, I didn't really see anything. Maybe mine just isn't updated. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but yeah, I, I, there's, there's a, there's like walls of all kinds of coral in this reef, the Palencar Reef, Mexico. There were, there were literal like, like formations of it, uh, very tall looking. Um, all right. So I looked at the images of the NOAA Coral Watch, uh, I didn't realize how, how well we keep track of all these, uh, coral reefs and like, uh, the bleaching effects, um, and how we predict it and how well our satellites work for it. Uh, it's kind of interesting how much science we actually like have mastered. It seems like, um, but yeah, uh, as far as if the corals are alive today, I think so. I think there are issues. There's a lot of, like from what I was looking at, here I can pull back up. From what I was looking at, there is a lot of bleaching effects, but the fact that we monitor it, um, I just feel like we have control of uh, the health of the coral reef to an extent, but it, I'm not really sure. I don't think anything's dying. There were a couple here. Let me pull it back up. There were a couple that uh, didn't just say bleaching warning. It's bleaching alert level one, like over in the Caribbean. There's a lot of bleaching alert level ones, uh, level twos uh, over in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, Melanesia has one. Southeast Asia, there's a couple. In general, there's there's a lot of no stress. There's a lot of warning, meaning that we're actually looking into it. I feel like with all of us actually keeping track and having people taking care of it, uh, I don't know. I, I would I would like to think they're not dying. I think uh, I think that we are taking care of them, and I think we're also probably some of the reason why they're not doing too well all the stuff we put in the water, but I'm not really sure how much of an effect that has on the coral reef. I'm sure it has much of an effect. Um, number four, how am I a uh, historically highly anomalous area impact? So for number four, um, highly anomalous areas, uh, they don't, they, they definitely negatively impact uh, compared to a stable temperature area, because in areas where there's 
extreme temperature fluctuations, uh, corals are just more vulnerable to stress, which is like that site says the coral, the coral bleaching, um, which just leads to decline in the health and resilience of the reef. Um, it, it definitely worsens their health. All right. So anything interesting from the images, honestly, something very interesting about these images is, uh, just how they map it. Like the high resolution, like type of imagery they use from the satellite to even get a reefs mapping is wild to me. Um, I'm not sure if that's the right answer, but that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, it's impressive that we can see the coral reef. I feel like that's not an easy thing to map, not even with satellite, because it's beneath the surface of the water. I'm sure that takes a fair amount of uh, thought in order to get good images of that, which is probably also why I don't see any uh, like live fish or anything, like any marine animals inside the water in these images. Like a lot of it might just be like some kind of algorithm to determine like an idea of the image which probably wouldn't include all the fish in it. Uh, is that every question? One second. Yeah. All right. Thank you.